Hi, I'm Jen Jacobson from WZDX News. And I'm Abby Kay from Mix 96.9. And we're here to tell you about the Salvation Army Angel Tree and Red Kettle Kickoff Night. It's on Thursday, November 9th. You can help make Christmas special for a family in need this year by just choosing an angel off the tree. And your donation to the Red Kettles helps the Salvation Army all year long. You know, Jen, I think we totally need to have somebody keep an eye on these tonight. Yeah, I wonder if any of the Huntsville Havoc can do that for us. Don't worry, I'll make sure no one gets near this goal. Hi, nice to meet you. Now tell me everything there is to know about playing hockey. The first thing you need to learn is how to ring my bell. Oh, like this? I think he meant ring this bell. Oh. The Huntsville Havoc and the Salvation Army kick off Red Kettle season. Mention Red Kettle Night for $10 tickets, free photos with Santa, plus $2 food and drinks during the game. Jen, I think you might have knocked out his two. Come ring our bell with the Huntsville Havoc. WZDX is proud to present the Alabama Jubilee Hot Air Balloon Classic. It's an Alabama Memorial Day tradition for over 35 years. The Alabama Jubilee. Two small steps for man. That one small step began here in Huntsville. Today, all eyes are on the Rocket City once again. This time, the target is Mars. WZDX News anchor Jen Jacobson examines the role Huntsville is playing in the mission to Mars. Wednesday on WZDX News First at 9. Can you spot the apps that teens are using to share sexually charged pictures? The dangers of social media are real. Jen Jacobson investigates innocent looking apps that place your child at risk and the warning signs every parent should know. Social media dangers tonight on WZDX News First at 9. North Alabama leads the nation in deaths by accidental shooting. WZDX's Jen Jacobson investigates what can be done. Firearm safety courses to high-tech gun locks, ways to protect your family and practice gun safety. Tonight on WZDX News, first at nine. This is the place I love. There's something special, something crazy good about this town. Yeah, this is where my world goes round. I've got my local all in the valley is where I belong. WCDX is everywhere I go. Turn it on and it feels right. Yeah, the valley's home. I've got my local all. Senator Doug Jones now officially representing the state of Alabama. See how he went against tradition for the ceremony tonight on your News at 9. Do you know what your teen is doing on their cell phone? I'm Jen Jacobson. Join me tonight at 9 for a special report on the dangers of social media. Huntsville Mayor Tommy Battle taking a stand against athletes who kneel during the national anthem. See how he's making headlines tonight after the games. Plus, will the scattered showers continue across the Tennessee Valley? We'll let you know on WZDX News. It's the commissioners versus the sheriff's office in Morgan County as funding cuts ignite some controversy between both parties. See how potential changes could affect you and your family. We are just hours away until the polls open for the primary of Alabama's special Senate election. See how analysts measure up the candidates at this point in the race tonight on your News at 9. A brand new year and a brand new school for Grissom High School students coming up tonight at 9. See what back to school will look like in Huntsville. Some big changes to policy requirements for rentals out in New Hope. See why some property owners aren't too happy about what might happen coming up tonight at 9. A so-called teen killer gets a new ruling by the appellate court. Coming up tonight on your News at 9, see why they argue resentencing for the Lawrence County man. Coming up tonight on your News at 9, some big news for Boeing. See how a new NASA contract for flights to space will have an impact right here in the Rocket City. Alternative birth options could now be legal across Alabama. Coming up tonight on your News at 9, see what lawmakers may decriminalize across the state for the first time in decades. A massive court settlement is set to benefit those affected by last year's water crisis in West Morgan, East Lawrence. See what a federal judge has ruled coming up tonight at 9.